This is the only Carmelite convent she founded that is not named after St. Joseph. It's the convent of the Nunciation. Cross your heart. And filling you with all the stuff here. It's always in those times, the painting for the people were like the movies in our time. So most of the people. The tomb of St. Teresa of Avila. They were not needed anymore after the 18th centuries because the war was not anymore within the city of Rome. But in the case of Avila, they were so lucky because in the 18th century, Avila was a very tiny city because the capital of the country, Madrid, is just two hours from here. So all the importance so went to trying to take the escalator. So please try to be as quick as possible to take your hand luggage. If you cannot take it because you need your both hands to walk, then leave it in the bus and they will take care. Because now a van comes here to pick up our stuff. Because of course the bus is not allowed to get into the walls. The traffic is forbidden inside, except in the residence. The residence car, they can drive inside, but not the bus. This is a pedestrian city. Thanks God. The room where lives St. Teresa of Avila in the incarnation. So the grill was in between uh, her and the bistro. And they used to sit here. This is the original kind of uh, aid of brick floor, okay? Mm -hmm. And in this one, uh, it is said that they were talking, San Jura de Cruz and herself were talking about the mystery of the Holy Trinity. Mm -hmm. And one of the uh, other sisters um, came inside this room and she saw them uh, lifted them, levitated them. Levitating. Uh, levitating, both of them. Okay? Mm -hmm. So it's what is represented there. Huh? And that's the revolving chair.